What do we got? Whiskey. Whiskey? Do I like this? Yes. Have I had whiskey? Yes. I can't recall. Yes. Because we had the first two rounds. Yes. This is round three. <laughs> ding, ding. Round three. <laughs> round three. So this is the third of a trio of Bimber whiskeys mm -hmm. from Glass Revolution Imports. So the third round is the Bimber cask number 250 slash one Oloroso finish English whiskey. It's a U.S. exclusive release, 330 bottles, initially matured in ex-bourbon barrel before being finished in an outstanding single Oloroso cask. That's what we got. What'd you say the ABU was? 58.2. Is that all I got? <laughs> Is that all they got? Is that all I got? <laughs> what did you want from them? 58.2. That's nearly a six. I know. This is this we is, could we could round. This is whiskey with a high five. Yeah, high fives. High five. High five. <laughs> high five. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Did I break the rest? I may have hurt myself. I am. I am like Iron Man. Cheers. Cheers. I am like Paper Man. Uh, one more time. There we go. Meat hooks. My meat hooks got in the way. It's a noise canceling head. <laughs> Hands is that we have? Yes. <sighs> You know, what's odd is I don't get as much vapory action no. off of this as I got off the first two. Right. And this is decidedly hotter. You're, you know what? You're right. Yeah. But it's also got a little more spice, a little more richness, a lot of like, you know, deep, dark, rich fruit. Are you getting more like uh, stone fruits maybe out of it? Where the first ones I, were I like just, baking? I just got, apples like a little, and stuff. I got a little funky note. Almost like maybe like, like prunes. Like, Stone fruits. Like, yeah, like a really. Let's try like, pruned. Yeah. You know, like prunes or like plums or something like that? Well, plums are dried. Yeah, prunes just, are dried just, plums. Just letting you know that's kind of the same thing. Same right? thing, right, right. Like sultanas is a dried grape, right? It's a raisin. Just in case you're wondering, it's, that's how that works. All right, I'm going in. Oh. Ooh, that's, that's rich. That's rich and robust. Is that is that a Christmas cake? Whatever a Christmas cake is. Try to get past the heat. Oh, wasn't so vapory on the nose, but there's a lot of heat. There is it's, it's, it's a lot in the anesthetize the tongue, the teeth, the back of the mouth. Who's the best pitcher in baseball right now? Uh, Wesley Levitz. <laughs> no, who's the best them? pitcher in baseball? Right he now. just hurt himself. Who? The guy from uh, who? Uh, from Houston, Erlander. Oh, okay. What's what's he throw? He throws whatever he wants to throw. Like a 105. Throws him for strikes. Fastball. Throws him for strikes. That, uh, boy, that's... That's that, a heater? That's a heater. That's what I'm getting that's at. That's a high-hard one. That is... That's a 105. Mm, 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 mm. That's a Bob Feller. That's a Nolan Ryan. That's... That's hot. Who's the guy in LA? Kershaw? That's cool. Uh, he can't throw hard anymore. He's old. Oh, okay. Don't mm. tell him I said that. He might come to my house and throw something. <laughs> That, uh, that, oh. that wood, it's nice. That's, that's really nice. That's very, very nice. It's like nice. really like rich and fruity. And, and again, you know, you, you talk about, you take a whiskey and you put it in different casks <clears> and <throat> something happens. Right. And people will a bunch of hooey. We've had three different expressions, ex-bourbon, a uh, vino naranja, and now this uh, old yeah. and sherry, and they're three complete different whiskeys. Mm -hmm. Just really like, good. I would assume the base pair is the same. I, Gonna guess it is. I would think. I don't think they're doing like different mash bills or whatever. Because it's one hundred percent barley, right? Yeah. Can so what's there to do? Unless they maybe change the yeast. I don't know. It's the same thing. Different strain of barley. Part. The only thing they're doing is moving around the the, uh, the house. Right. Storing it somewhere different. And I do like sherry. This isn't so much a sherry bomb. It's just nicely sherry finished. Right. And it gives you a lot of those like darker, richer fruits. Yeah, like like. And and I got a little bit of wood. Mm-hmm. I would go. I would go nineteen ninety one on this one. Yeah, that's that, just really, that's, really that's good. An a that's an A It's got nice. a nice balance to it. It's really nice, and it, it's got heft. It's got mm. the velvety kind of feel to it. The only yeah. thing I would like is a little bit more of a finish, and you mm. probably get that with a little bit of time. That this probably isn't old enough, as we said oh, before. Oh, I, I think it lingers they, quite a bit. They though. started in two thousand sixteen. Yeah. So first stuff came out in nineteen. This is probably. In 21 and 22, mm -hmm. so you're looking at something that's five or six years old. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's good, but yeah, give it two or three more years, maybe, and it gets a little richer, a little fuller. Mm -hmm. Especially if you left it in the sherry for a little bit longer. Right. I like it the way it is. It's yeah. good. No, no not, not that it's bad the way it is, but I'd like a little bit longer finish. I gotcha. I gotcha. A little finish. Well, 
Delicious stuff. Oh, I like this bitter is. thing. I'm, I'm really curious to see where it goes. It is. Now, if you were ranking the three that we tried, um, what would you do? I think they were all very good. I, I don't know. I mean, I just I think I just gave this a higher score than yep. I gave the orange one. You did. I think the orange one for uniqueness, because I've never really tasted much like that. You know? But this one is just, just really, yeah. really good. It's probably the best of the, of the bunch, of the three. This is a very close second. That's a very close third. I mean, they're tight. What's disappointing is I'm in agreement with you, and I don't like to agree with you. It's like a well, you know, like when, you're, when you go to like the shoot. You've been to the range, right? Yes. What's that a tight grouping? Yes. Well, that's what I've been told. I've never done that, but yeah. But I'm saying when you there, there, if, if you were skilled enough, there right. would be a tight grouping. Yeah. So it, it's pretty tight. I mean, you can tell the base spirit yeah. on this is really good. You know, I know we've said this before. I would be curious to try the new make. Yeah. Just to see what it's like. Yeah. You know? See what it tastes like before they start putting the different casks. Yeah, I mean, there's no there's yeah. no peat here. There's no smoke. Nope. Nothing. Nope. I don't get any smoke. Nope. Maybe although they, maybe you could say like armchair. Maybe although they do uh, they do make peated ones. Okay, but I, I don't think any of these are. No. So I enjoyed it, and I'm really curious to see the journey. Yeah. And now that we have a man on the inside, yes, we we can have some access. Hopefully, I think so. Hopefully, you'll so, put some more of this in, sir. Cheers to you, Bimber, and of course, Glass Revolution Imports. Cheers, folks.